Hola, buenas tardes, good afternoon, my beautiful people. Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl here, Daniela, Miss Four Lizard, aka the Planning Diva. And I'm actually not planning today. Shocker, I know. I'm going back to my roots today. I'm throwing it way back. And I've decided to do a project pan for this upcoming summer. So shout out to all my OGs who are still on my channel, who are still subscribed to me, who subscribed to me from the very beginning of my project panning days, how I started YouTube, and have stuck with me through it all through now my paper crafting and stationery and planning phase. Um, shout out to you all. Um, it was really interesting when I switched content. I was, you know, in the beauty and makeup and specifically more in the project panning community um, for about two to three years. And then I kind of left my channel like I went on a hiatus for maybe a year or a little under and then I completely changed content and restructured it and I went through a couple of name changes and through it all I lost about probably a little over a thousand subscribers and then it wasn't until I believe um probably like six seven months ago that i really started seeing like a steady increase in subscribers as opposed to just like a constant like i was definitely just kind of um i was definitely losing some for a while and then there came a time where it was kind of like this equilibrium of i was gaining and losing kind of at the same rate as like people were leaving because of this you know this different stage different stage in my evolution and then people were coming in around the same time and then I recently hit 1800 subscribers thank you so much that's amazing you know I'm really excited to see where my channel goes but anyways like a huge shout out to everyone who has stuck with me through everything I remember like uploading my first project panning video so many years ago and I never thought I would you know I still have no idea where this journey is gonna take me but i'm just having fun anywho i'm here with a project pan because i still have a lot of makeup and i've definitely improved in a lot of different categories of makeup you know i only have one or two mascaras foundations um, eyeliners but i still have quite a bit of like blushes and cheek products and eyeshadow and lipstick because i was <laughs> i was seriously in love with makeup for a good amount of my time and i still buy makeup so i still want to continue to encourage and motivate me to get through what i have and use what i have sometimes i just get really in the mood of going back into doing beauty and makeup content and thankfully when i did like my latest restructuring of my channel i kind of let left the door open for me to do all sorts of different content and I don't know if you've noticed when sometimes I put like that, like that, um, I don't even know what to call it, but sometimes I put that little like uh, picture that happens like, you know, 30 to 30 seconds to like a minute into a video and it kind of like has a picture of me and like what the channel is about. I'm not sure what you call it, but it's like an intro slide or something. If you notice, I have like a couple of things I've written down there, um, kind of detailing like what this channel is about and what kind of content I have on this channel. And the number one right now is of course like planning and paper craft type of stuff, but I also have like beauty and makeup stuff. And I also have a couple of other things like reading and book content, as well as like science communication and like out, like outdoors like adventure type vlogs these are all things that um i'm interested in and i want to like create content for on my channel a couple of the things like i'm still trying to figure out exactly how i want to bring that type of content to my channel but you know hopefully it's coming and coming soon so thankfully i kind of left that door open for me to um to do makeup content so i hope you enjoy this summer project pan um i have gotten it into my head to try to do a project pan every season or so because i think that's the perfect amount of time to do a project pan 
especially for like larger items because you really it really takes a long time to get through like a cheek product or an eyeshadow and so I think it'd be fun to kind of do one every season and like pick the items based on the season. So for me, summer is all about those bright colors, bright lips, bright eyeshadows, bright cheeks. For me, it's like about neon, super glittery and like super high shine product and colors. And for me, like summer is all about like really crazy out of the box, like funky, fun, colorful, bright makeup. And I love that type of makeup and so I have a huge number of items here in front of me definitely an ambitious project pan but it's okay because um, the point is to have fun and just to motivate yourself to use your makeup so without further ado I'm gonna get into the items that I chose for this project pan. And for some of these items I have really specific goals for and others I don't have as specific goals um but yeah let's get into it so first item on the chopping block Too Faced sparkling pineapple eyeshadow palette she is gorgeous look at her Ugh. i also have the raspberry one i remember i bought these in boston when i was visiting my sister and this thing is fantastic so gorgeous <gasps> let's see if i can show you ah I wish I had like something to put over the mirror because the mirror drives me insane. I'll use a happy planner cover. <gasps> Why don't we do that? Meeting of two worlds. So I love Too Faced. I love all of their like um, fruit inspired products. I know some people don't like it, but I love it. So this is what this eyeshadow palette looks like. It is, I would say, a really classic color story. We have that pop of gold and then some nice like complementing shadows. This gold is super sparkly. I've already hit pan on it, tiny baby little pan, but I have hit pan on it. So my goal for this eyeshadow palette is to widen the pan in that gold and hit pan in at least two other eyeshadows. And I think that's going to be definitely a challenge because the other eyeshadows aren't as, um, aren't as used as that gold. This gold is just really, really um, kind of has like a gelée type uh, format or like formula. It has, a, it has like a gelée formula to it. So it's really easy to pick up a lot and like move the eyeshadow a lot in the pan and so it exposes pan really easily the mattes are beautiful um i think i'm probably gonna hit pan on this like champagne shade um second and then potentially like this matte brown just because i can see myself using that quite a bit because it is such a nice matte it's such a beautiful um, blendable color i can use it with anything so Goal is to hit pan in two eyeshadows and deepen the pan in the one gold eyeshadow. So there is that. I guess we'll continue on with eyeshadow. <sighs> one of my all-time favorite palettes. Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. This one gives me so many summer memories. I adore this palette. I'm wearing it right now on my eyes. I love how peach and apricot tones look on me and I can definitely see myself just going through this shadow like nobody's business. And the rest of the palette has uh, just beautiful neutral brown colors, um, really warm. We have like a nice green, a nice um, purple here, and then we have some really functional um, defining shades in, uh, in, in a matte formulation. So. I think this palette is just a really nice like everyday palette. We have some lighter colors here that you can do a lot with, but then there's those fun, more like brown, warm browns that really, you know, give this gorgeous like sun-kissed look. So <gasps> love it. My goal here is to hit pan on at least three eyeshadows. I'm gunning for candied peach, just 
peachy and probably I think probably Bellini here that's probably the next one that I would hit pan on based on use but yes my goal here is three pans in three eyeshadows every time summer rolls around this is a palette that I immediately like move to the top of my vanity and it sits there on top of my vanity for the entirety of summer because I love it so much so those are the only two eyeshadow palettes that I am going to have in this project. I have a couple of cheek products. Number one, Too Faced Again, the little black book of bronzers. This thing I just want to finish. It's so cute. And I have already finished three of these shades or pans. And my goal this summer is to finish one entirely. Uh, I want to finish Snow Bunny. It's a it's a bronzer, but it's a really gold bronzer um, on my skin tone. So I want to finish this one completely, and I want to hit pan on Dark Chocolate Soleil and on Sun Bunny bronzer. I'm hoping to try to um, to really finish this palette you know within a year or two and i'm i'm almost halfway there so little black book of bronzers and summer is the perfect time to pan bronzers because not only is it kind of appropriate for the season it gives you that sun-kissed look but also i like uh, bronzing my entire like upper chest because I tend to be browner like in my hands and my face than I am in my chest just because I don't like expose my chest every single day to the sun and so I'm naturally just wider here in this area and it looks kind of funky um, when I wear like a low cut top like this because and I often do in summer because my face and my makeup is like one shade and then my like chest area is another so I like bronzing up my chest area to kind of just you know make me look a little bit more cohesive so another bronzer this is a product i've been trying to finish for a while now this is the bobby brown shimmer brick compact in bronze and it is well used well loved i've actually even like started to like create this like weird hard pan on it um, from how much i've used it this is something that it was so expensive it was like 55 dollars and i don't see the difference between like a 10 dollar product over this guy it's beautiful but there's just so much out there that looks exactly like this and again i'm just trying to finish product and this one is actually one of the products in my collection that um i see myself like really close to finishing so i have the goal of finishing this during the summer couple more cheek products let's start with uh, some blushes so I have two Mac cheek products from their oh, what was this called the wash and dry collection this released a long time ago don't even ask me when they released but I have a highlight powder in freshen up I'm actually using it as a blush today and I dropped it at some point and so it's kind of broken but this one is it's a nice i would call it a blush for me especially like this tone right here i just mix up um, all the colors but i like kind of concentrate in this pink area but it gives this like core light coral blush and i think it's a cute color i like it i enjoy it um what i like about this is that it builds really well it's not super pigmented so you can definitely have a heavier hand and not look too crazy which I tend to have a heavy hand in my blush and sometimes I like apply way too much but this one's a little bit easier to um, to apply because it's just not as incredibly pigmented as another blush so this was a summer collection a long time ago and 
the packaging is so much fun. Whenever I see it, it reminds me of summer and going to the beach and it's just ugh, it's so beautiful. So I'm going to try to hit pan on this. And then, did I even tell you the name of that? That was called Freshen Up. Freshen Up. And then I have a blush from that same collection called Hipness. And this one is a matte pink. I would say this is a really true pink. Probably leans a little tiny bit coral, but it's pretty true pink, I would say matte beautiful it looks great on the cheeks and i really enjoy this my goal is to just use it hopefully you know at least 20 times i don't know i probably won't be counting but i don't have a goal for this besides just use it um and enjoy it because it's been a while since i've reached for that blush a highlighter. So I have Laura Geller's Gilded Honey again. I've had this um, product in Project Pans, I feel, for like forever. And this thing is so close to being done. You can see so much of the pan. And honestly, the only thing that's kind of left is like the edges here. I'm going to use this until I can see that like um, like that waffle type of print all the way to the very edge and I'm not going to um, toss it until I see I see like you know that grid like all the way around I love Gilded Honey I'm a little tired of it because I've used it for so long it's definitely been the highlighter that I throw on every time I do highlighter I'm wearing it today and I'm just so tired of it. It's this took forever to finish because you know, you're only highlighting just like a little tiny part on your face. So yeah, I have faith though that I can finish it this summer. This was the highlighter that I was using in my 12 pans of Christmas project pan, which I never filmed an update on, but trust me, I continued to use those items for a long time I'm still using a lot of those items now and so I kind of want to switch things up though so that's why I wanted to do another project pan okay the last cheek product that I have here is a highlighter palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills this is the Aurora palette no mirror so I can just show you this is a palette I always reach for when summer rolls around because these highlight shades are just so bright and fun I don't know why but they really remind me of summer and my goal here is just to use this. <laughs> I don't really have any like expectations of hitting pan or anything like that. Just, I want to use it. And then the last couple of things that I have here are all lip products. I have quite a bit and my goal is just to use them. Oh no, no, I have one non-lip product which let me share with you before i jump into the lippies so this tiny little urban decay eyeliner in the color deviant <sighs> i have this much left in it and this like ocean pool blue is something that i always love uh reaching for for my um uh, my lower lash line in summer especially paired with an orange lip my goodness i love that color combo so hoping to finish this completely this summer okay now i can move on to the lippies i have quite a bit here let's see i have one two three four five six seven eight i have eight lipsticks <laughs> eight lipsticks so i'm just gonna kind of rotate through these i don't have any expectations for any of them except i do want to finish one and i'll tell you which one in a minute so i am going to continue to use two lipsticks that were in my 12 pans of christmas project pan these are leap of delight it's a matte lipstick and another matte lipstick this is flamboyish from mac this is from their um sweet nutcracker collection one is this deep eggplant purple this one's a bright pink i'm actually wearing it today and i want to continue to use these i think that 
these are still gonna be great for the summer so I just want to continue to roll them you know into this new project I always try to pick like a deep color for the summer to get some use out of especially like summer nights I think like a really deep lip color like this looks um, really really chic it's really easy to get carried away and buy like the bright colors in summer and just want to wear like bright pinks, tomato reds, like candy purples. But I have to really, you know, stop and remember to reach for my like deeper colors. So that is my deeper color. And I also chose this because I want to also pan two lip glosses also from MAC. These are from their Trolls collection, which was also a summer collection a while back. These are so cute. I love the glitter lids so much. This first lipstick, the baby pink one, is Saint Germain, and I'm actually layered it on top of this lipstick right now. So I'm wearing flamboyish, and then I uh, layered this Saint Germain on top of it just to give it a little bit of like that milky, like clear gloss. This is almost like a clear gloss, and um, I honestly like, yeah, it's it's definitely a topper gloss on for me, and um, usually like on a deeper. Uh, a deeper pink like this because like on my skin tone this pink unless I really like ombre it out it doesn't look too good um, speaking of layering I also have bubble butt lip glass also from the trolls collection this one is more of a deeper pink has a lot of sparkle in it and it also looks great like paired onto like a, a matte pink lipstick so i'm gonna try to uh, pan those two lip glasses and then also from the trolls collection we have this guy here this is called um a midnight troll and this is also a deep deep lipstick it's deep blue. I think this is going to be perfect for summer. So I actually have two deep lipsticks for summer. I have that purple Leap of Delight and then the Midnight Troll. And yeah, my goal again is just to get some use out of this. And I love having it out for summer because the packaging is just like so beautiful. It reminds me of summer. It reminds me of the summer that I bought that collection, which was a while ago. But, and I just love reusing summer collections. I picked up, picked up like a couple summers ago in like the current summer season. It just makes me happy. So three more lipsticks. We have an Urban Decay lipstick. This is a Vice lipstick and this is in Heat. Ooh, I'm actually, I've used quite a bit of this, actually. So this is from their Naked Heat collection when that Naked Heat palette came out, which I still have that palette and it's gorgeous. And for some reason, I associate this with summer and it's like this really glittery bronze red shade. It's beautiful, it has some gold sparkle in it. It gives me summer vibes. So I wanted to toss it into here. And the last two lipsticks, that I have here are two like iconic summer shades for me. This one is in Orange Sickle and this one's in Berry Strudel. These are both um, NYX Intense Butter Glosses. Really, really pigmented, amazing, gorgeous, and you know, maybe I should swatch some of these. I didn't even think about it. I'm so, I'm so like removed from project panning that I don't even remember how to film a video so ooh, look how bright these are these are gorgeous gorgeous shades maybe I'll swatch a couple of the other shades too one thing I don't like about swatching lipsticks is that it's uh, it's definitely like a bit of a hassle to get off the hand off the back of the hand all right here we have all of the lipsticks swatched out so we have midnight troll for mac the urban decay heat lipstick both of the nyx intense um butter glosses this one's in berry strudel and this one's in orange sickle this is mac saint germain lip gloss and then this is um bubble butt for the mac lip gloss um, from the trolls collection this guy here and then this pink is flamboyish it's what i'm wearing on my lips today um layered underneath the saint germain and then lastly we have um a uh, leap of delight so that's mac's deep matte purple from their sweet 
Nutcracker collection. And that is it. Those are all of my items. I'm really looking forward to um, doing my makeup in these really bright, fun colors and styles for summer. Summer's my favorite month, so of course I had to kick it off with a project pan. So let me know if you're planning to do any project panning this summer, either with makeup or stationery. You know, you can project pan in every single aspect of your life. And yeah, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Um, stay safe, stay blessed, and happy panning. Bye.